Yeah, yeah, down in six. <laughs> oh no, it's down in seven. Anderson's just bumped him down. Yeah, it's not only just the bad starts for Baggett, but the first couple of laps, he usually tends to struggle. There he is, airing out the Rocco's leap. Jeff, I don't know, did we see any 250 riders do no. that in practice? No, so Baggett, first rider to air it out to use the horsepower. Wow. And the jump, it, it, it's, it's, it's the same. He was able to pass each and every one of them and now has a, a solid lead. And yeah, remember, early in this moto, Tiffany broke the story that he's actually dealing with a sinus infection and a stomach ache today. Well, doesn't that make for a storytale ending? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, he set that one up nicely. Is that what you're saying? He, he wasn't too shy about it. He did reveal it. Not he, a problem. Yeah, but the thing is, and you know, we've talked about it a bunch so far this season, is that I feel that Blake Baggett is a very efficient rider with his technique and all that. He just doesn't seem to use a lot of energy. Okay, it seems like he's very still on the bike. I, I think that on days like this, that that's a big advantage that you have, that, that you don't use a lot of energy. You're not just really, you know, working the bike all around. Right here he is. Oh, the last yeah. lap. One-hander. Woo! Just to put a little icing on the cake, a one-hander jumps in when he doesn't have to, and it's a jump no one else could do. Blake Baggin, exclamation point on it, wins the first.